Man, you don't hear about the mafia anymore, do you? There's no segues here because of what happened, but it's an acquired brain injury for one aisle three. But um, when it comes to chromosomes, less is more. But yeah, I... But the mafia, they're not around anymore. I think because they ate too many carbs. Like they're carb loading every day with the fettuccine. The garlic bread, carb on carb, like cannolis, just custard wrapped in spaghetti. And then they're making life or death decisions. If I eat a cabanara at a restaurant, I have to lie down on the floor. I can't even deal with Netflix. I'm like, antique roadshow, fucking, you know, like I'm, I'm processing a linguine down here. They had to decide whether to dangle Giuseppe off a bridge or stoop their goomba with their blood glucose fluctuating like the NASDAQ during a financial crisis. <laughs> Meanwhile, terrorists... Uh, say what you want about them, but they're... They're out there doing things. They're hijacking planes. The Taliban took over in a day. Because they're on hummus. Slow-release lentils, OK? They're doing Ramadan, intermittent fasting. They were in ketosis when they stormed Fallujah. <laughs> it's not even a real place, it's in Wizard of the Oz. Wizard of the Oz, that's not real. The Wizard of Oz, fuck. <laughs> Get the cattle prods out, Karen. Get them out! That'll do a pig, clever girl. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a movie, eh? I I could be watching any movie, you put a gun to my head, say what's happening, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know. I was just <laughs> ruminating about a barista that disrespected me and I, <laughs> I didn't do anything about it because I'm a coward. I found that out when I went to the beach with my family, saw a shark and kept it a secret. But I, um... <laughs> but I got this friend, he's into the wellness. He likes wellness, you know? He's on goji berries. Asahi bowls? He's got the green juices going all the time. And people think he's healthy just because he puts that into his system. But I know that he's not, because I've seen his blood work and like... <laughs> don't ask how I saw it, but yeah, I... And he has a weak constitution. Like if he doesn't drink green juices, he's gonna die. But Keith Richards... Yeah, yeah he, he's in a band and <laughs> heroin for 40 years, <laughs> fell out of a coconut tree, got an acquired brain injury, still doing cocaine into his 80s. <laughs> Health's not what you put in, it's the resilience of the container. <laughs> put Keith Richards on the cover of Men's Health, he can have a resistance band wrapped around his forearm so he can get the veins pumping. For <laughs> Ten reps of heroin over here, baby. He can snort his firstborn's ashes. Activated charcoal, motherfucker. <laughs> Keith Richards is a corrugated tin shed that thrives when you pour asbestos into it. <laughs> My friend had to get his stomach pumped at a wine and cheese. Like, that's... <laughs> that's healthier, isn't it? Isn't it, guys, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? a quarter of the way through and like... <laughs> front row's been giving me the straight faced emoji for the last 10 minutes. If there was a rate your experience kiosk, you just press the one in the middle. I felt nothing at the library. <laughs> I'm on too much diazepam, so I feel nothing everywhere, but I felt nothing here too and I thought someone should know about it, neutral. I was indifferent about the bathroom in the Singapore airport. The urinals <laughs> failed to elicit an emotion, natural. <laughs> That's my favourite one, the straight-faced emoji. For people who feel nothing but are still motivated enough to share feedback. <laughs> you ever go to fishbowl? <laughs> it's good, eh? You get to customise your own bowl. Choose your own protein. Is there any more dystopian phrase in the English language than choose your protein? <laughs> it sounds like the last decision the robots will let us make. They'll be like, choose your protein, move to the next window. 
and we'll be grateful. We'll be like, hey, how good is it how you get to choose your own protein? I enjoy having a bit of autonomy in the gulag. I was on the fence about my protein. <laughs> Neutral. I don't give a fuck if the robots take over. I'm autistic, they'll hire me as an interpreter. <laughs> they'll be like, why do they cry? <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea, eh? I, I just look like them. That's where it begins and ends, okay? I need an interpreter. I haven't understood a metaphor since I got the booster shot. <laughs> All I'm seeing is indistinct chatter. No, but do you ever be watching a movie with subtitles that'll come up with indistinct chatter? <laughs> Even if you're deaf, who can like... It's as if the person writing them is like, Even if you could hear this, you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> no one can hear this bit. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> Builds a sense of community across all hearing levels. It's like taking a blind guy to a black hole. Nothing to see here, mate. Just a complete absence of everything. If you want to hold my hand, you can howl into the void. It's over. <laughs> Rathy's here. It's a callback to a joke I haven't done yet, but yeah, I... <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm doing my set in reverse time. I'm the Benjamin Button of my own... Do you guys remember dumb nerds? From school? You know, they'd have glasses, but then they'd be like... <laughs> yeah. Dumb nerds get bullied, and in America they do these school shootings, which I think are inappropriate. But... <laughs> dumb nerds can't do that here because of gun laws. They have to join a medieval reenactment group. <laughs> no need to apologise, my lord. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> Inside every one of them is a rain of bullets restrained by legislation. <laughs> Smart nerds, they get bullied, they move to Silicon Valley, build a robot to replace their bully's forklift driver job. <laughs> you excluded me from handball, I've ostracised you from the global economy. It's over, Gary, you're irrelevant. <laughs> then Gary's got no self-esteem, he gets hooked on fentanyl. Ends up turning the gun on himself. <laughs> no, it's a long-term school shooting. <laughs> like you invest, you invest. It's a superannuation of revenge. It's a long... <laughs> and then at the very end, you outsource. <laughs> that was his head. I don't usually do impressions, but that... <laughs> but Google's free, eh? <laughs> but the thing with Google, it's free, but... They know everything about you. So your privacy is the currency. But I just wish you could buy other products by telling people deeply <laughs> personal information. You just go to the cafe, you're like, yeah, I got a micro penis. It's free now. <laughs> You've actually overpaid with that, so throw in an arm and cross on. Because I got herpes. You can have the whole cafe. This is now you're the owner operator of a Starbucks. But people complain about targeted ads. They're like, ooh, I mentioned Adidas and then I got an ad for a shoe. It wouldn't be exactly like that, but like, <laughs> at least they've got a target. Like at least they've got a sniper rifle just pointed at your subconscious. TV commercials had no respect for my interests. <laughs> I'm six years old getting ads for renovations. Funeral homes, you're not even getting into the bowl. You're pissing all over the floor. <laughs> Targeted ads are custom designed to my needs. I'm getting ads for extra small condoms. <laughs> Skin cancer support groups, like you hit the bullseye, Bezos. Oh, they're spying on me. At least they're listening. <laughs> Your husband doesn't give a fuck. He's on Grinder, hanging out with me at Grilled, eating zucchini chips. <laughs> Shit. This is a nasty ass motherfucker. But the thing that really annoys me about tech startups is just how relaxed they are. You know, like with the hammocks, <laughs> the tie dye v necks, the ping pong. <laughs> Casual for what they've done. Destroyed everyone's attention span. Ruining democracy. Wear a suit. 
Do you think Hitler went around in board shorts and rollerblades? <laughs> playing hacky sack with Lenny Reifenstahl? <laughs> no, he wore a suit. Because he respected the gravity of his crimes. <laughs> no, I don't agree with what he did. I'm just saying he dressed appropriately. <laughs> There's a dress code to your evil. I don't agree with what Dracula was up to. <laughs> he was sucking blood out of women's necks and I thought that was inappropriate. I was just raised to believe that behaviour was wrong. <laughs> but he wore a cape. That's the dress code to that type of behaviour. 